Hey y'all, I'm at the Fenton Collectibles Bash consignment auction. Let's see what they got. So this is all the beautiful glass for the consignment auction this year. Look at this miniature water pitcher set done for the NFGS in 2007. Isn't that awesome? Very beautiful set. This is, look at the color of this plum. Wow. Beautiful plum carnival. I love the Dave Fetty Monet Garden ginger lamp. And y'all, I've talked about this color all week. I've never seen so much of it in one place. FAGCA 2005. Oh, CC Hardman. I know her. Look at this ginger jar. Holy cow, but look at the favorite. Holy Toledo. Look at that color, y'all. What? Beautiful color. <coughs> Beautiful color. Jade, big cookie jar. Dave Fetty. These are really cool pieces. These are the tiered tray and the tiered bowl set. Those are really nice. Aqua Crest cake plate. More Monet's Garden. I love this face. Law have mercy. Beautiful, beautiful. You don't see a lot of Fenton black glass. So that is just very pretty. Let's see who did it. Sue Jackson. That is pretty. That was great color choice for black. Got some more great Day Fetty pieces. Got a Frank Workman. Look at the logos. The dolphins are hard to find. There's a really good one in this auction. Really good one. This teal, teal. This is green water pitcher set. is gorgeous. This one was done in the... Done in the 80s. I think that's an 8 there. Can't get the light right. Yep, there it is, 8. Let's see what it'll do. Oh, yeah, it does glow. Look at that. But you know that hat's going to glow. Look at that. Man. You know the Burmese is going to glow. This picture was made for QVC. Look at the heart. Heart crimp on it. Isn't that cute? Made for Bill Fenton's anniversary. Look at that. that shell. Oh, look at the crackle glass. These are hard to find. I've had only a few pieces of these. They weren't very popular in the 80s and didn't sell well for Fenton then, but now they're very popular among collectors. This is the NFGS mouse. We own this mold. The collector the club does look at the cheese on it isn't that cute this one was done in 2003 let me do a hundred look at the periwinkle blue painted as a clown I see Riggins Riggs can't read John Cool yellow this is a very hard to find color yep this is an old piece too Hard to find. Look at that mulberry. That has got gorgeous color. Got more topaz. Got some nymphs. Look at this really cool heart relish clock. Isn't that neat? Somebody drilled it and made a clock out of it. That's neat. This water lily set is gorgeous. So, fun fact this plum opal water lily pattern was the first piece that Fenton made. They made it in the creamer. That was the very first piece they made. This is the one that everybody's talking about this auction. This is a blue Burmese dolphin iridized. You, we've, there's been so many people talking about it. They've not seen one this is the first one they've ever seen. It's just, that's just amazing when pieces come out for sale like that. This piece is hard to find. 
in any treatment. They made it in uh, roses on Burmese. Let's see, got a great piece of Charlton here. We've been talking about this piece. Ann was talking to me about this piece. She got it out of a collection and she said she wasn't sure about that it was Fenton and then several of them were marked Fenton. And um, anyway, they've been real popular among buyers. This is the Royal Hobnail. Remember, I've probably told y'all before, if you've watched some of my other videos, you very rarely see this. It's white belt glass with a silver crest, and they called that Royal Hobnail. They made it for six months in the 90s. Look at this jade dancing lady's iron. This is that old, old stuff. It is missing the lid, so if you find one with the lid, y'all, it's worth a whole lot of money. Mosaics. Look at the maze back there. This is one of LG Wright's molds. Isn't that cool? Looks just like corn. They made it in a honey amber overlay, too, that you could just eat it off the vase. This is an altered logo by John Fenton. This is a nice one. He made it to look like a butterfly wings. I think that's really cool. Let's see what else they've got down through here. These are, oh, man. This is a Louise Piper salt and pepper shaker. Whoops, sorry, I wasn't looking at it. It was a very nice 1970s when she painted those. Let's see what else is super duper really cool in here. I always like looking at uh, Carnival Glass. Look at that shine, wow. So the beauty is in this pattern. It's the sailboat and windmill pattern. I love that one, and this was one of my favorites when I started out at Dragon and Lotus. Look at that shine. Wow. Gorgeous. Let's see what else we got down through here. I don't know what color this pink is, but is that not gorgeous? Just absolutely gorgeous. I love that pink color. And then we're getting down here into some really really high-end glass uh look at that there's two of these in the auction good maybe i'll have a shot at one of them i may have to have may have to take that home with me i'll have this face at my house and i love it it is gorgeous and it does glow it is um oh, i can't remember the name of it but let me see if I can ask them. What's the name of this vase? The color treatment. Yeah, absolutely. Ruby Amberina. Topaz Amberina. Topaz Amberina. Yeah. Topaz Amberina because it glows. It That's what makes that one really nice. Here's some pieces. Look at this skunk painted by Donna McCoy. That's a really neat piece. Okay, I don't want to touch it because y'all that freehand offhand stuff is so hard to find and it's really 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 expensive when you do and I don't want to touch it and I don't want to drop it but you can see the the vines are actually sticking up off the piece look how far off they come it's like it's been sand carved see here's a piece of sand carved Ooh. and you can see how far it comes off the piece you can see how far that comes off there it is just, it will approximately go between fifteen and $2,000, maybe $2,500. That's how much that piece will go for. If it goes for less than that, it may have to go home with me because that'll be a deal. These are some more beautiful pieces of Dave Fetty. Look at that, that control bubble. That's amazing. Frank Workman made this bowl. I'm pretty sure. Maybe Dave. No, that one's Frank. I thought it was. Look at the hat basket. Oh man, and then the sand carved. Look at it, it's got a, don't drop it, don't drop it, don't drop it. Kitty cat on the front of it. Oh, it's a huge face too, it's, it's called Spring. Look how much it sold for originally, $675. Wow, just beautiful glass. And here is a piece of, look at this plum carnival, is that not gorgeous? 
and I like this color teal. I don't know what color Fenton would have had in the tank at the time to make that color, but boy, I love it. And then this is a not in line piece of Dave Fetty from the Barber era. Absolutely gorgeous. Thank y'all for watching. Hey y'all, thanks for watching my video. Be sure to like and subscribe. See you again soon.